Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, I would love it if you would become part of this family if you love DIYing on a budget. And for those of you returning, thank you so much for stopping by. So for today, I have for you this little tiny crate for your tiered tray. And then I made a bigger crate just to store some of your decorations in and something that you can have out all year and just change out from season to season. If you're new, welcome. Please take a moment to introduce yourself in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so to start off, I just wanted to show you how I made just a little stand to elevate some of your decorations. And I just took a magnet from Dollar Tree and those little tiny uh, jars and just glue it, glued it together and then I just spray paint it white. Okay, so to start off, I just grab all my sticks out. We have skinny sticks, I got these from Walmart. Then I have small craft sticks and large craft sticks from Dollar Tree. So here I'm just starting out with the skinny sticks. I measured to see what half was, and half of the skinny stick is two and seven eighths. So I just mark it and I cut it down and I just kind of score on each side with scissors and then break in half and they break it in half really easily. So I just go ahead and do that with five sticks and then that leaves you with 10 pieces. Now you only need nine for the middle part. You're going to use three for the longer side three for the other longer side, and then four in the middle for your base. So I'm just lining them up here, getting them nice and straight. And then I realized that I had cut them wrong. Um, I cut them a little bit too long on one side. So I just go ahead and recut some. I then just cut pieces long enough to connect them all and you need two for each um, side. So here I'm just gluing them down. I'm using my tweezers because with my nails it's really hard to work with little tiny pieces like this. And then here I'm showing you that I'm going in with my Aileen's Tacky Glue because I realized that using hot glue, you're going to be able to see the hot glue through your slats. And I wanted this to dry down clear. So I just go ahead and use Aileen's Tacky Glue. I'm not sure why I didn't do that to begin with, but um, you live and you learn. So basically you just want three slats on one side, three slats on another, four in the middle, and then for the one side, you just put your bottom slat down, and then you just measure your stick um, long ways against it, so that way you have the right length, and then you also cut uh, four more pieces for each side and connect it. You can see what I'm doing here if I'm not making much sense. And then also the Aileen's is good because you can move it around before it dries down. That way if your slats are looking a little bit wonky then you can move them around and um, straighten them up. So again I'm just cutting the little pieces and then I glue them down. So I'm not going to lie, you guys, um, these skinny sticks were really hard to work with. And not only that, but I did it wrong. And I'm just showing you guys my mistakes. That way you don't make the same mistakes. So here I'm just showing you that I used um, small craft sticks and just rebuild it because I made the pieces that connect it too long and my box didn't want to fit together right. So it's the exact same design just with small craft sticks. So here I'm just taking my large craft sticks, I'm laying them out, I lay out nine, I mark where I want to just cut the rounded edge off and so I used my little tiny saw to do this, but scissors would work just fine. 
So I'm just sanding the edges because they were a little bit rough. So here I'm just um, cutting my pieces to connect them and I make sure that I leave them short enough that way when I go to assemble it I don't run into the same problem that I did with the skinny stick box. So here I revert back to my hot glue because I just wanted the process to be a bit quicker. So I just go ahead and put a dot on each of the sticks and then lay my um, connector piece down. And I wanted to bring this to you guys. I know I'm sure you've seen crate DIYs before, but everybody loves their tiered tray. And I'm always looking for small little decorations and things to hold things on. So I thought it would be a really cool idea to make a mini crate and a bigger crate to go next to it for your tiered tray. So here I'm just connecting the piece. I lay one of my longer sides down. I then take the bottom part and line it up right on top. That way I get a nice clean edge. So then I just flip it around. Um, here I just have it the way it's supposed to be with the bottom down. And I just take the bottom section and then glue it to the side. And you can see what I'm doing here. But this surprisingly held up really well. I didn't use any corner um, braces or anything. And it was really sturdy I mean I picked it up I stained it and it didn't come apart so I'm sure it would give it more stability but in this case I didn't really need it but if you want to you can add um, a couple small sticks to the corners just to make it a little bit more sturdy but again I didn't need to do that next you just want to take the side piece glue around the edge and then slide it in place and then just push it down and hold the sides so that it glues together nicely and then you do the same thing for the next side so after you're all done gluing next thing you want to do is i took white waverly chalk paint and painted my little crate um, i wanted it to stand out so that's why i painted it white but this part is always your preference. You can paint it, stain it, leave it as is. It's up to you. So for the bigger crate, I took my favorite stained Jayco bean. I'm sure you guys could figure that out and just stain the whole thing. So for the white crate, I wanted to make it look rustic and old. So I take antique in the Waverly chalk paint and I just focus on the edges and all I do was take my brush on the edge and just like pull it down and then that way it kind of looks um, more realistic that way. And again, you just focus mainly on the edges and I did focus on each little edge um, on each stick if that makes sense. So here I'm just showing you what it looks like after I put the antique um, paint on it. So I'm just going to take, I have skinny twine and I have thick twine. For the small crate, I take my skinny twine and glue it to the inside on each little side. So that way it kind of looks like a handle. And then I just repeat it for the next side. And it's kind of hard to get in there to push it down, so I just use a paintbrush. So for this, this was a DIY on accident. Um, when I stained my bigger crate, I had a sponge, and the sponge came off the handle. And I said, well, that can be a cute little rolling pin. So I stained it while I was at it, and I added these little dowel rod knobs to the end to make them look like handles. I then paint the handles white. So I just showed you our little cake stand looking thing to elevate your little decorations after I spray painted it. So on my little rolling pin, I'm just freehanding blessed with my paint, white paint pen. And I don't really like my handwriting, but you're not really going to get a stencil in there. So for the bigger crate, yep, you guessed it. I do the same exact thing with the white. 
focusing on the edges just to make it more weathered or appear more weathered and look more rustic. Um, I don't really distress a lot. I like to, but by the time I get to the end, I'm always in a rush and this makes it look rustic and distressed without having to sand. So that's why you see me just doing dry brushing like that a lot. And then for the same thing on the bigger crate, I took my thicker twine because it's a bigger box and I just create little handles and then you see me, I glued like the top to keep the handles coming out. So here I'm just decorating um, my box. I put a tin with some greenery and I just take these cotton stems that I had from Michael's. They come in a bag um, with a half off coupon. They're like four bucks. And then I had these little um, pumpkin picks from Dollar Tree and um, I've already used the white ones I had, so I'll probably paint these, but this is what I had on hand. So I'm just using what I had for now. And um, if I was decorating in orange, these would be really cute, but that one's done. So for the small one, I'm just kind of playing around. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but I just cut some greenery off of a pick I had and kind of put it in there every which way with a cotton stem and a little gourd. I end up in the end taking the gourd out and putting that little pumpkin, but I think it turned out really cute. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, hit that red subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and please give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. I don't think we got enough time to sort out the fights, yeah. sort out the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. I don't know. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh.